My name is Pete Woods, you're watching Hexham TV. I'm John Pike. I'm the Joint Chair of the um, Management Committee for the Torch Centre in Hexham. So, John, for those people who don't know where the Torch Centre is, where is it? It's just opposite the hospital. And in fact, the relationship with the hospital goes back 40 years. This place was founded by the hospital when the hospital here looked after uh, paralysed people, people with spinal injuries, and people who were in the hospital for um, six, nine, 12 months. And they looked, were, were looking for somewhere that they could do some minor sports, have a re recreation in a bar, and generally feel outside the constraints of a hospital. So that's how the, 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 the torch was founded, and its objectives really are to look after, offer services of sport and social interaction to the dis disabled, and also offer services and uh, facilities for the population at large in Hexham. So um, what sort of things you know, do people do at the torch centre here? I mean, I mean, for example, last night I, I popped down. Um, my son had been coming here for, for 20 odd years and Wednesday night's always a busy bar night and there are a lot of, a lot of um, handicapped people, disabled people who find the comfort of the bar here very valuable and, and there were maybe 20 odd of those here last night. There was Jive Alive going on in the big hall, which is where you're standing now which is a whole bunch of um, people who, 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 it's a jive club. Um, and in the small room, there was another meeting going on. And I'm, I'm not quite sure who, I can't remember who we let it to, but that was rented out last night. It's a new group. And um, in the, the snooker room was being used alternately by people who were using the bar. So that gives you a flavor, but uh, I mean, whether it be uh, writing clubs, embroidery clubs, um, tai Chi, Pilates, on and off this place has been used for lots and lots of things. Um, so it's used by the whole community and it's, it's for everybody in Hexham but importantly it's, it's situated toward the, towards the east of the town yes. where there are fewer facilities like this so it's a great facility if people want to hire it or um, use it for when it's not being used for other purposes. Yes, for example, there is a, there's a wedding here in two weeks time. We don't do many weddings, but in two weeks time, or sorry, Saturday week, there's a wedding here. Uh, there are often discos here uh, arranged for um, people with difficulties, people who don't find such things normally easy to attend. Um, and uh, but equally there could be an 18th birthday party or a 21st birthday party or indeed the odd wake you know so this has you know a bar a hall um, and, and, and facilities thereof. And for people with uh, who are differently abled it's really important isn't it that they can come to a safe place with their friends their family and um, socialize. Absolutely I mean Jeff and Zoe, who both work here and, and uh, uh, have been here for a lot of years, know most of these people and, and ma maintain a safe and comfortable environment for them. It's important that uh, when they come out, for example, my son, Jonathan, he, he rarely goes anywhere on his own. This is one of the places where he goes on his own. We drop him off and we, I come down and say hi and he comes home. So that's, that's unusual for him and it's unusual for us and it's great. And um, all of these sort of community spaces that are run by often volunteers need funds to keep them going. What's the situation at the moment, John? Well, there, there were just a couple of trustees who have been running it for a lot of years and what with COVID and it became clear that the, the, the income to the place was less than the outgoings and they ran a flag up the pole, upper pole about six months ago saying look this it wasn't sustainable and were looking for basically some people to get involved in, in uh, 
and a management committee and working with the staff here to, to, to get this place back on its feet. I mean, uh, so my, the joint chair is uh, Jill Woodward, um, uh, Lynn, uh, Lynn, I've forgotten the surname, um, and Michelle Auburn and uh, Helen Dobson are all people who help us here and have, have basically been putting time and effort in on, on, a, on, a, on a voluntary basis to try and sort out what's, uh, try and sort out, I don't know, a lack of momentum. So we need to just get the place moving forward and solve some of the problems that, uh, yeah, you know, so, um, but we're making a good start. We're making a good start. But we do, we don't really have very much money. And, and until we can get the regular rental income up, until we can get more events going, uh, we need some support and we need the support of the community to help us through this. And we're trying to raise £5,000 to, to basically allow us time to build a plan, to start implementing that plan, and that gives us an, puts us in a position to access grant funding from all sorts of different people. But until we have that plan, until we have an, a reliable set of figures in terms of you know, income and expenditure, and um, we, we're, we're short of funds, and, 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 and that's really what we want to happen now if we can um, if we, we need people's help um, and uh, to that end I you know if people would like to help that would be fabulous and uh, if they go out and look for the Torch Centre website and there'd be plenty of uh, contact information there so. so I think you've got a Just Giving page haven't you and those details will be on the Torch Centre website but they'll also be on this video so people if they want to donate they can they can do very easily through the normal uh, absolutely just giving, just, just giving place yeah. and and we would have liked to have done that a little bit earlier but we weren't registered but for with the hmrc so we've actually had to wait for a month or so while the hmrc's give us a tick in our charitable box which has now been done and that's why we're off and running so and if anyone's interested in um holding their event here, then obviously they can uh, go to the web page and contact you about that. Yes, the, on, on the, uh, the, all the bookings that we have in place are on the website and people can navigate the website looking for uh, availability and equally there are phone contact details there if you'd like personal support as well as an email address for, for people. So, John Pike. Thank you very much for talking to Hexham TV about the Torch Centre in Hexham. Thank you very much. For the, and I just hope uh, people throw themselves behind us. We need their help. Thank you.